Well, North Carolina is now marking this holiday weekend with a huge milestone. Health officials have tested a total of more than 1 million people across the state. Out of all of those tests, more than 71,000 have come back positive. And for the 11th straight day, North Carolina recorded more than 1,000 new cases. More than 900 people are currently in the hospital. In South Carolina, they reported a single day record of COVID cases, more than 1,800. Nearly 1,200 people are in the hospital for the virus, and that is also a record. Tomorrow morning, Rock Hill City Council will discuss a citywide mask mandate. And lawmakers in Florida, which is seeing a spike in COVID-19 cases, are now calling on the governor to require masks in public. Ten lawmakers signed a letter to him on Friday, and some health officials are also on board with the move. I think a mandate will help. I think it, it emphasizes the point that this is very, very important. It's not a big deal. Just do it. Well, the governor is reluctant about the request. He says the order wouldn't make sense for some of the state's counties. Small businesses in need of assistance during this pandemic have more time to apply for help. President Trump signed legislation to extend the deadline for businesses to apply for a loan under the Federal Paycheck Protection Program. The new deadline to apply for the program is now August 8th. Officials say there's still $130 million left in available PPP loans. We're so glad to be preparing for your return to athletics. But before you arrive on campus, we have a few things we need to share with you. One local school district has made these videos laying out exactly what students and parents have to do starting tomorrow to participate in athletics. Practices in Burke County are due to begin tomorrow. And Channel 9's Day Faraday looks at what's being required to keep students safe. Well, the videos show how practices are going to be very different this school year, right down to wearing a mask, even the use of a water bottle. The coaches and administrators discussed everything from parking to mandatory health screenings when teenagers return to school for practice. The athletes will exit the vehicle, will walk to the table for their screening. Parents do not get out of your vehicles. Locker rooms will also be closed and there will be limits on the number of students allowed to practice at one time. Only air hugs and air bumps six feet apart or more are allowed. Each of the schools in the Burke County School District made a video. Teenagers we talked with want to get back, but also want to do it safely. I think it's important to know like the COVID safety because I wouldn't want any of my friends getting it or any of their family members. I know what to expect now. It's a lot. The coaches emphasize the importance of social distancing and the need to wear maps. Just treat this like a new piece of your uniform or equipment. Students won't be required to wear them all the time, like during long distance running. Parents are hopeful the plan works, but say they still have concerns. It is a big burden for the coaches. And then what happens if you do have a kid that comes in that's non-symptomatic? And we found out outside workouts are going to be limited to 25 people, inside just 10 people, and that includes coaches and staff. Back to you. The Charlotte Mecklenburg School District was supposed to resume high school athletic practices tomorrow too, but the district tells us that's not going to happen. CMS says it consulted with local health officials, discussed readiness with athletic directors, and reviewed current conditions in the county and the state. They say there's just too much uncertainty and unanswered questions to continue to move forward with practices. Cabarrus County was also supposed to resume high school sports and band practices tomorrow, but the district is also postponing that until July 20th. The district says it's making that decision out of an abundance of caution. Last month, the North, the North Carolina High School Athletics Association laid out its rules for resuming workouts. Students have to complete a physical exam form, and all coaches and students must be screened daily for any symptoms, and that includes daily temperature checks. In South Carolina, athletes can't use the locker rooms. They'll also have to have their temperatures taken when they show up for practice, and they have to wear a mask when not on the field, and the equipment must be disinfected after each use.